guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Lucy Lexi, and we're back with another day of 31 days of Spooktober. So if you're now joining us, welcome. And if you're coming back, thank you so much for staying with us throughout this 31 days. So today is a place that a lot of you may not know is haunted. If you're in South Wales, you've definitely heard of this place. If you're in the Neath area, you 100% hate this place. But not that many people know that it has such a grisly background. So, without further ado, let's jump into today's video all about the steelworks. So, if you're not aware of the steelworks, it's a steel production plant, it's in Portalbat. Now it produces nearly 5 million tonnes of steel slab per annum. It's got a labour force of around 18,000 people. It actually has 4,000 employees at the Portalbot plant. So that shows you how big this is. Now the original Portalbot works date back to around 1901-1905. It was actually named after Christopher Rice Mansell Talbot. And of course we know about him because of Margham Castle. It was his castle. Now, in a few years, in 1961-63, the plant was demolished and then the general officers left behind housed the Talbot Magistrates Court until 2012. The rest just stayed as an industrial estate, basically. Now there's also the Margam Works. So this is kind of all over Portalbert. It's all different areas and all the steelworks are kind of split into different sections. So Margam Works opened in around 1923 and that was the start of the complex being started. And then there was also Abbey Steelworks. Now Abbey Steelworks is built on top of Margam Abbey. That was planted in, in 1947. Now, on the Abbey site, part of the Margam Abbey remains. Now, this was left behind when the monks left it. There's a tiny little wall that's left from the Abbey, and this has become known as the, the Cursed Wall of Potalba. Now, real or not, whether Tata believe in it, whether they don't, they don't want to chance anything, so they've actually built a wall around it to make sure that it's not damaged, broken, or hurt. The wall's around 800 years old. Legend says, if it was ever to fall down, then the whole of Potalbot would fall with it. It dates back to the 16th century, and it's said that an annoyed monk placed a hex on the remains of a farmhouse. So the monasteries had lost a couple of the brothers due to the Black Plague, and then in later years, the final straw was that King Henry decided to kick the remaining three brothers out because of the dissolution of the monasteries. So basically, they're trying to get rid of all the monasteries, and he found that there were a few left in this particular monastery, so he kicked them out. Now, as a final parting gift, one of the monks was said to speak to Christopher Rice Mansell Talbot and say he would put a curse on the remaining farmhouse. He said that if this farmhouse was to deteriorate and this particular wall was to ever fall, then he would ensure that the whole of Potalbot goes down with it. And descendants have taken care of it since. They have not let anything happen to this wall. In the 70s, a structure of stone had been built to keep the wall up because everyone was concerned that it was going to go down. It had deteriorated quite a bit, and basically they thought that it was going to fall and they didn't want Patalba to fall with it. They all believe this, you know, they actually do believe it. If they didn't, they would just knock it down, surely. So they decided eventually to put up a wall to hold it up sturdily. It was said that a couple of people nearly crashed their car into it, so they started to realise that they couldn't risk it anymore. Now around this wall is said that there is a white monk protecting it. A lot of people who have heard about this curse have come forward and said, oh, I saw a white monk there. However, the monk that placed the hex did not wear white, despite being called a white monk. Two crane drivers were doing some work down by the wall and they came forward to the manager and said, we're not working down there anymore. We've just seen something, there was something there. We don't know what it was. It, it just went past, it was with the hood and we don't know what it was. They had no idea of this curse. They had no idea that there was a monk haunting the steelworks. Now a lot of people say that the man who hangs down at the further end of the steelworks is the man who placed the curse himself. There's also a red monk 
the Hangzhou down there. But nobody knows if he is of any relation to the white monk. However, people have said that whenever they walk down at the end of a night shift, they tend to feel scared and they feel like there's something watching them. This isn't all the secrets that the Steelworks has kept quiet. There's also a hidden tunnel going from the Steelworks to Margam Castle. Nobody seems to be able to find it, but there is legend that there is one. And then there's also a stream going all the way from the steelworks to Brecon Beacons to transfer goods. Nobody knows where that starts and ends either. Now, there's said to be 15 men buried underneath Tartar steel. Now, these men were killed alongside another 72 others. In 1890, in one of the worst disasters in a pit of all time, it was a tragic explosion at Mulva Colliery. It's said that a lot of the Mulva Colliery ghosts haunt Tartar Steel, and I suppose that's because they're buried there. However, a lot of people have heard screaming, shouting, and get me out of your sounds coming from underneath the steelworks. Back when this happened, it said that a pack of dogs actually ran through the village as soon as the explosion took place. These are ghost dogs. They're known as the Red Dogs of Mulva. It said that the day that they all got killed, there was a sweet smell through the colliery. People described it as a death flower smell. They called them the invisible death flowers. They never stopped hearing the cries for help. And they also used to see the Carnage Corf, corpse candles. Now an official report of 1890 says that the colliery is haunted and no man should go down there on his own. So guys, that's Tata Steel and Mova Colliery. Do you work in the steelworks? Did you know that? Did you know there was ghost haunt in there? If you work there and you've seen something yourself, let me know in the comments. Please leave a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please go and subscribe to my channel. I try to make as much and upload as often as I possibly can. We're in 31 days of Spooktober, so I'm uploading every single day. And if you do subscribe, please hit that notification bell so I can let you know every single time that I upload to this channel. Remember guys, never let anyone dull your sparkle. It's hard for me to say you